This is my son, Grant. And Grant and I argue about cell phones and technology all the time, don't we? <laughs> yeah. We do. And recently, we had a big to-do because I was talking about how all these latest, greatest smartphones and the new iPhones, that most people can't afford the kind of money involved with yeah. it. And I said, that's why I recommend these lower-priced Androids. And you said... Uh, I, I feel like there really are um, lower-end iPhones that are worth the money, unlike what people say. Like, for example, this phone, which is, it was $100, and it's the iPhone SE. Used, used. Because in order to stay in a low budget, you've got to buy used with an iPhone. Yeah. So we found on eBay this SE. Yeah, for $100. And um, then there was another phone we got that was at a $300 price. Yeah, the point. iPhone 8 also. Um, and so you went into this being somebody who loves using the latest, greatest, fanciest. Yeah. Were you frustrated using these, or did you feel even more that this is a great alternative for somebody who'd like to be in the iPhone orbit, but doesn't have a big budget? So I feel like this is a great phone um, for people who don't use their phone for everything. People who their phone is their like whole life, these don't work for them because um, they don't have the best cameras, they're smaller phones. Um, they're really just not meant for that kind of thing. But for someone who just wants to have an iPhone and has a low budget and just wants to use their phone for normal phone stuff, it's perfect. So this has a very small screen. This is a um, four inch screen where today's state of the art is like six and a half. Yeah, six and a half. So inches. I'll never be able to get it. Oh, I did get it. Sit back up. So this one was a hundred bucks. Yeah. The iPhone SE has been out for several years. Mm -hmm. This one was in great shape for a hundred dollars. Yeah. Somebody took good care of it. Three hundred dollars. The iPhone eight. Now, yeah. how many years back is that? Is that three years? Uh, two years? That was twenty seventeen. That was late twenty seventeen. Same uh, released at the same time as the iPhone ten. Um, yeah. And how'd you feel about that one and the three hundred dollars? If somebody can spend more, but they're not in a position to spend six hundred bucks, let's say, yeah. or seven hundred, how was that? Was that a phone you could really use as your everyday phone for heavy use? So that phone, it's really about the processing power. It, it was $300 and uh, it's as powerful as a flagship Android that's around $1,000. But the design is very old school. I don't love it because it's a home button style iPhone. Um, it's a six style iPhone. So if you enjoy having a home button, it's perfect. But um, for someone like me where it's like, I don't like home button, uh, it's not great. But All right, let's say your budget's 300 bucks. Yeah. Should you get an uh, Android, because there are a lot of very decent mid-range Androids for 300, mm -hmm. or should you get the iPhone 8 for 300? Um, it really depends on your use. If you're a heavy user, I would say don't get the 8. Um, but if you're someone who just really wants an iPhone and they want it to last a long time, um, the 8 is perfect. Thank you, Grant. You're welcome.